here we have the cytosol. Across the way is the nucleus with the Golgi apparatus close by. Here is the lysosome. As we move through the cytosol, we arrive at the mitochondria. Continuing through the mitochondrial matrix, And here we have the Christi membrane. Here we have glucose, a six carbon molecule. As ATP come in and break the glucose molecule into two pyruvates, they break apart and form two, three carbon molecules. This is the NAD shuttle bus. That once the, the glucose is broken apart, it, two electrons will uh, be picked up uh, from its breaking, and then it, the bus uh, will move through where the cytosol then, and enter the EPC for the electron transport chain for the next stage. Don't forget that through the process of glycolysis, two ATP were gained. Here we have one of the two pyruvates that was formed from glycolysis. This pyruvate enters the mitochondrial matrix from the cytosol. As it enters the mitochondria, it releases a carbon dioxide. This loss causes the NAD shuttle bus to be reduced to NADH. This pyruvate without the carbon dioxide combines with coenzyme A. This forms acetyl-CoA. Oxaloacetate will now attach to the acetyl-CoA This forms citric acid, a six carbon molecule. All of this is occurring inside the mitochondria. Remember, citric acid is a six carbon molecule. One, four, one equals six. As it is broken down into a five carbon molecule, a carbon dioxide, and another carbon dioxide is As the carbon dioxide was released, the NAD gains electrons This forms NADH. Remember, it is important for electrons to wear their seatbelt as well. As NADH was being reduced to NADH2, FAD was also gaining electrons. It now becomes FADH2. Notice the LC diamond on this FADH2 bus. The electrons like to show their support for the devil. ADP is combined with another phosphate 
to form ATP from substrate level phosphorylation. This concludes the Krebs cycle. FADH2 carries electrons down the electron transport chain from carrier protein to carrier protein. These are called cytochromes. It releases electrons that travel down the ETC. It also releases hydrogen and energy as it goes. NADH is carrying electrons down the ETC as well. Along the way, it is releasing electrons, hydrogen, and energy, just as the FADH2 shuttle bus did. The energy let off is enough to pump the hydrogen ions from the Christine, Christine membrane to the inner membrane space. This creates a pH and a voltage gradient. ATP synthase is an enzyme in the Christie membrane. It acts like a turbine to pump hydrogen back into the matrix. This generates enough energy to combine ADP with a phosphate to form ATP. As NADH and FADH2 drop off the last two electrons at oxygen, the final electron acceptor, this causes oxygen to combine with two hydrogens to form H2O. Look at all the ATP form. All that energy. This concludes the video of cellular respiration. Welcome to the AP Biology video for cellular respiration. Car. Car. Here. <laughs> I mean, I'm recording this. As the carbon dioxide is released. As the carbon dioxide is released, as the carbon dioxide is released, Biology video about cellular respiration featuring Whitley Airwood, Kimber Kirkland, Nicholas Finn, and Sarah Ann Rinson. <laughs> <laughs>